Well, it took more than 100 years, but for the first time, a sitting U.S. president is calling the 1915 events that claimed over a million Armenian lives genocide. News 8's multicultural reporter Katira Winfrey joins us with that story. Well, Nina, Armenians around the U.S. are recognizing the 106th Remembrance Day, recognizing the years where the Ottoman Empire, now modern-day Turkey, is accused of conducting mass killings and the deportations of Christian minorities. The Indiana Armenian community says President Biden's words is another step toward reconciliation. For 106 years, Armenians around the country have marked this day as a solemn one, a day to remember the millions of lives lost between 1915 and 1917. Very painful for Armenians and other Christian minorities as well, and we would like to see that it's recognized. During that time, history shows the Ottoman Empire, now modern-day Turkey, began a series of systematic killings of the region's Christian minority and deportations. Those who weren't killed, many migrated to other countries, including the U.S. Oftentimes I hear people um, say, I hadn't ever heard about this, and uh, it's kind of painful because it was truly the first genocide of the 20th century. Even now, instead of calling the killings genocide, Turkish leaders refer to the incident as the 1915 events. It's a stand America has also taken for a time until now, with President Biden releasing a statement on Armenia Remembrance Day, calling the 1915 events a genocide. Hearing President Biden say the word genocide used towards the atrocities that were committed towards Armenians and other minorities, Christian minorities, is important. Liza Babayan and Seda Arzumayan are the co-chairs of the Armenian National Committee of Indiana. Friday, local Armenians came together to recognize the day. They say it's important that the U.S. take lead in this, as it's a leading superpower that promotes human rights and values. I'm happy that that finally the U.S. president spoke about the truth. And Armenia still faces unrest. Back in September, a 44-day war started, which claimed more Armenian lives. And local Armenians say the, that event felt like an extension of what their elders experienced more than 100 years ago. Reporting in the studio, I'm Wish TV News 8's multicultural reporter, Katira Winfrey.